This is me attempting to vlog again after a very long time. And I think it's probably something I should have started doing again a while back, to be honest, after my first six months of doing it back in, when was it, 2019, I think? Or 2018? One of those, 2018 probably. Time is flying, but... Uh, so I didn't see an alternative really than to <clears throat> get away for a couple of days. Um, I'm working in Kidwelly anyway on Friday. So I'm down this way and I'm currently in Lahn. Um, I've never been here before, so I figured on the way, wherever I go after, I will stop in a few places that I've never visited and see what they're actually like. Uh, I don't know what the weather's going to be like for the rest of this week, but uh, today is absolutely lovely. So we'll have a little wander along this path and yeah, just see where see where the rest of the see where the rest of my time takes me. This is where Dylan Thomas's boathouse is as well. So we're going to have to go and have a look at that. So there's a few signs to follow as you're heading down here. It's pretty clearly signposted on these blue signs. Just keep following the Dylan, Dylan Thomas boathouse. And it's only 400 meters on the first sign. So we should be close now. I think it said 250 on the last one. So it should be just around this corner. And the views are lovely too. So this building behind me isn't actually the boathouse. This is what they call in the shed or the garage that belonged to the boathouse and Dylan Thomas used this shed to do much of his writing. So the boathouse itself is actually further along this path behind me, so we're gonna head down there and see what this is all about. This is the boathouse behind me, where Dylan Thomas, the famous poet, once lived. Um, it isn't open at the moment because of COVID, um, but there is a little sign here that says the outside tea room area is open on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday between 10 and five. So if you fancy going to see Dylan Thomas's house and having a little tea outside, then uh, that's the place for you to go. So I think we're just gonna head back along the path now, uh, back towards the van, get some uh, aerial shots, and then we'll move on to the next place. the houses sleeping in the streets in the slow deep salt and silent black bandaged night only you can see in the blinded bedrooms the combs and petticoats over the chairs the jugs and basins the glasses of teeth thou shalt not on the wall and the yellowing dicky bird watching pictures of the dead only you can hear and see behind the eyes of the sleepers the movements and countries and mazes and colours and dismays and rainbows and tunes and wishes and flight and fall and despair and big seas of their dreams. <laughs> 